Well, I first started brewing beer, um, oh, let's see, I think it was uh, the late 80s. Um, I grew up in a family where food and drinking was very important. Uh, my dad was into wine, beer, and spirits, and my mom was a big cook. So there were five kids in my family, so every night we had big dinners, and uh, that was a big, big thing for my family. Uh, I went to school at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, and I really started to learn a lot more about beer. And I was always um, the guy bringing good beer to parties. And um, I got a great job after school and I traveled the world for about six years. And I really got into beer uh, through my travels to 30 or 40 different countries that I went to. The niche that I was trying to fill is just make beer, um, bottle it, so go to the liquor stores, and do draft so it could get into the local bars and restaurants. So that was kind of the business premise. And uh, the other goal was to survive and, and to, to grow and to make it, but uh, we didn't have a very uh, formal mission statement at the time. We wanted something that had a little more to it than uh, an English style pale ale that we were selling a ton of. So um, we spent a lot of time uh, t with test brews and uh, it's a beer that was made with a lot of American hops, eight different malts, uh, nine and a half percent alcohol, so it's, it was a really fun beer to, to come out with. It takes a lot of people to do this, so yes, I started it, um, but uh, there's now 75 people or so at the brewery and it takes all sorts of people to get this business to the end of the week. So um, it does take a lot of people and it takes great people to do it. So um, the people are really, really important. Yeah.